The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition has been making waves, and not just a little ripple, but a full-on splash. Samsung's latest foldable hit has not only sold out once, but twice, and demand is still surging, especially in South Korea. So, what's making this phone such a hot commodity? Let's dive in and see why fans are so taken with this foldable, and what exactly makes it stand out from the pack. First off, this model is dressed to impress. Available in a single, sophisticated black shadow color, the Galaxy Z Fold SE keeps things simple, yet incredibly stylish. With 512GB of storage, it's built for both power users and those who want their device to look as good as it performs. It's no wonder this model has become the ultimate status symbol in the foldable world. Now let's talk design and display, the real showstoppers here. When it's folded, you're greeted by a 6.5-inch Dynamic AMOLED 2X outer screen, making it perfect for handling with one hand. Its aspect ratio of 21.9 provides an ideal balance for day-to-day -day use, whether you're browsing, texting, or watching videos on the go. But it's when you unfold it that the magic really happens. The massive 8-inch inner screen with a nearly square aspect ratio is pure eye candy, delivering brilliant colors, exceptional brightness up to 2600 nits, and an immersive experience for everything from work to play. It's a display that's as impressive as it is practical. Photography enthusiasts will love this part. Samsung has brought its flagship-level camera system to the Galaxy Z Fold SE. It's got a 200-megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization. Yes, the same one featured on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Plus, there's a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 10-megapixel telephoto with 3 vag zoom, and even a 10-megapixel selfie cam on the cover screen for those quick captures. Want to record videos? This phone has you covered, delivering 4K video at 60fps and even 8K at 30fps with the main camera. Whether you're capturing memories or making content, this foldable's camera game is top-notch. Under the hood, the Galaxy Z Fold SE doesn't skim pee on power. It's powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, with 16GB of RAM ensuring a smooth, speedy experience no matter what you throw at it. And with 5 and 12 gigabytes of storage, you've got space to store all those high-res photos, videos, and more. Running on Samsung's latest One UI 6.1.1, based on Android 14, the Galaxy Z Fold SE is also equipped with Galaxy AI features that add a layer of intelligence to the device. It's smart, responsive, and ready for the future. Plus, Samsung has committed to seven major Android OS updates for this device. Talk about future-proofing. And of course, you need power to back all these features up. The Galaxy Z Fold SE comes with a 4400 mAh battery that supports 25 watt wired charging, 15 watt wireless, and even 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. So, you'll have enough juice to get through the day and options to recharge fast when you need it. Samsung's also thought about durability with this device. You get IP48 dust and water resistance, a side mounted fingerprint reader, stereo speakers, and all the connectivity options you'd want, from 5G to Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3. It's built to last and ready for anything. So there you have it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition isn't just a foldable phone. It's a powerhouse wrapped in premium materials with cutting-edge features. No wonder it sold out not once, but twice. But what do you think? Is this the future of foldables, and is it worth the price tag? Drop a comment below and let us know. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for all things tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shape cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163mm by 77.6mm. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.